Hello everyone, this is Garrity Tonincourt from MoreThanASnapshot.com. Today I want to talk about Adobe Lightroom Mobile. And I've done a lot of tutorials about Lightroom, but not very many about mobile. It's a, an interesting new thing they've been uh, incorporating into Lightroom. And it allows you to do um, work on iOS devices, Android devices, your desktop, of course, um, and even on the web and even Apple TV. So they're really expanding what you can do with Lightroom Mobile. And all you have to have is the Creative Cloud service. So today I want to mostly focus on how to share photos using um, Lightroom for the web. There are other things you can do, of course, with Lightroom for the web. You can even edit your photos. But I want to start with just, you know, sharing. So the gallery tools that are in Lightroom are kind of old and outdated types of um, image galleries that you can make. They work and they're just not very interesting or exciting. I think the ones that they've incorporated into Lightroom for the web are much better. And that's why I want to show it to you. And it can do some pretty cool things. Um, that may be useful even for the photo contests or some of the challenges that I run. And it may be a good way for you to just share a link with me and we can look at your photos that way and get even more detail about the photos because you can see the EXIF data if you apply that setting. So I'm going to um, head over to Lightroom and start to show you that. Also, if you join this live, you know, don't forget to say hello and um, tell us where you're from. Um, you know, if you want to tell us about your photography and or make comments about the stream, that would be great. Ask any questions. This is live. So interaction is an important part here. All right. So let's jump over to Lightroom on the web. And the first thing you need to do is go to lightroom.adobe.com okay once you get to that address you're going to have to log in with your creative cloud credentials and once you log in you should see a screen like this and you can see it says welcome and photos and then you have all these little sections here that you can work with so i could jump right over to photos here or i could go to my photos here so I'm going to click on photos and here are some of the photos and collections that I have. Now, the way that Lightroom Mobile works is you have to go into Lightroom first and create a collection of photos within the library module of Lightroom and then sync that collection to Lightroom Mobile. And I'll make a separate video about doing that. But once you have synced the collections, these photos are available for all of your devices, like I said, on phones, iOS, Android, Apple TV, on the web, on another computer, like a laptop. So it's a nice way for you to be able to work on your photos from some other device. And just like anything else in Lightroom, everything you do in the web module um, is non-destructive. So it can be redone when you get back to your desktop. So you're not going to be damaging your photos in any way. And this all happens pretty quickly because it uses smart previews to upload to, you know, the mobile service. So it's not really sending the whole big file. It's sending smaller versions. And then the instructions just get applied to your raw files later. When you want to create a collection, the first thing you would do is select the photos that you want to create or put in the collection. So to select a photo, you just click the little check mark on the photo and that opens up some tools up here at the top. So I'm going to pick just a few photos that uh, could make an interesting collection. All right, so I have selected some photos and now I can go to share and I get a choice right away. I can share it with a web gallery which is just gonna create a link to a page that's gonna just show the photos on it. And that's what I was showing you a minute ago. Or 
you can create a whole portfolio and that takes you to a personalized website for your portfolio. So what I'm talking about here is just sharing it with friends and things like that. So I'm going to click on web gallery. And then of course you can give your gallery a title. So I'm going to call this one steam trains. And then if you want, you can pick a cover photo. So let's say I choose that one as the cover photo. Now here you have some other options. You can uh, allow downloads if you want, or if you're just showing someone the photos, you're probably not going to allow downloads. If you want to show metadata, again, that could be useful to share with some people. And if you want, you can show the location. And if you don't have to show any of those things, it's up to you. On the next tab, you've got slideshow. And you can see here when it's a single medium speed slideshow, it's just basically going to give you a very basic slideshow. Uh, one cool thing you can do is adaptive and it'll create different layouts. And I think that's kind of cool. And again, you can adjust the speed fast, medium or slow. I'm going to leave medium and I'm going to put loop. So let's try the adaptive one. I don't know if I've selected enough photos to make it look good, but We'll give that a try. So once you have all those settings chosen, you can click save and it's going to update that. And you can see here on this side, there's a little globe. Those are the photos that have been or the collections that have been shared. And you can see a preview of what this all looks like. So one thing you can do is you can change the order. So just clicking and dragging the photo from one place to another, I can change the order, which is very helpful. If I want, I can add text. Um, let's say uh, black and white steam trains. And I could add a description if I wanted. So I'll apply that. So I have a main title, I have a cover image, I have some, some text. So if you want to see what it looks like, you can just click on this little link at the top and it will open up another page that will show you what you've created. So here's the page that I've created. It's a nice layout. If I click on a photo, it opens it up into that slideshow, you know, setup. And the quality of the photos looks pretty good. Not only that, what's nice is you can click on the photo and zoom in and move around. So like I said, I think this will be great for critiques because it's a nice way to be able to move around. Again, if I liked it, I could, I could give it a heart or give it a comment. Okay. And I could see the picture information because I included the EXIF data so I could see how it was shot. Again, I can close that and go on to the next one. I don't want to see the information right now. Okay, and then, so it seems to have a lot of cool features. And I didn't, I guess, select enough photos for it to do the adaptive slideshow. That's really cool. Maybe I'll go back and add some more photos and see if we can uh, take a look at how that looks. But let's close this and go back so I can show you another thing you can do. When you're creating this, you'll notice if you put your cursor between two photos, it opens up. Okay. So when you, if you click on this, you can actually split your photos into groups. So by clicking on that, you can see I divided this top row. So this one has the title. It can have a title and a description, black and white steam trains. And this one um, can have a different title. So I could come over here and type in, you know, panning with a steam train. All right. Now, Let's preview this one. So now it's showing me just the three photos in the top layer. They have their own title. And then the second row 
has two photos and it has a title as well. So you can divide up your photos however you want. All right, let's go back. And I want to point out here that you you just don't get a link. You can you can copy of course the link and you can email it to someone, you can paste it into a comment section of a blog post or you know, put it on social media or however you want to do it. But you can also embed, if the uh, person with the photos gives you permission to embed, if you click this link, you can copy this code and you can embed this onto a web page or a blog post or anywhere that lets you put in some code. Also, they give you the social links. So if you were to click on Facebook, it would automatically take a link um, for this and send it over to Facebook. So that makes it very convenient for sharing that way as well. Um, let me see if I can show you the more adaptive view. Uh, the beauty shots one, I, I made one like this already. So let me see if this is the one. Oops. Okay, yes, yeah, so you can see when you play the slideshow, now they're not coming in one at a time. They're coming in in sets, different arrangements. And I think that's a pretty cool looking slideshow. So the features on this are pretty good. I would give it a try and, you know, let me know what you think about it. So again, this has been Garrity Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com.